What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're going to teach you guys how to create a 5M server uh, and install some scripts, resources, uh, peds, and cars. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this link in the description. Uh, it'll be in the description. And then you want to you want to click on these two links in the installation path. And you want to download the, the artifacts and the clone. So, go ahead and download them. Then you want to create a new folder wherever you want your server to be located. I'm going to just put it on my desktop for this tutorial. So I'm just going to call this... Uh, and then you want to just drag these zips in there. Just so you've got a backup of them. And then you want to extract them here. Um, so you will need WinRAR for this as well. If you haven't got WinRAR, make sure you go and download that. So once you've got that, you'll see a CFX master and all these files. You want to go into the CFX master. Um, and then this is where you're pretty much where you put all your resources. You want to put it all in the resource folder. So we want to be creating a server.cfg. So you want to come in this folder, the CFX server data. Uh, and you want to create a server.cfg. And then you'll go to this website and you'll see this. You want to copy all that, paste that in there. And then scroll back up to the installation. And then you want to install, uh, you want to uh, go to, you want to save that. You will need to fill these two out. But that's, uh, we'll get to do that in a minute. So you want to create this. So you want to copy this here. I'll leave it in the description. And you want to start, want to create a, another file um, and call it start.bat. Um, and then you want to right click on it, hit edit, and then you want to paste this in there. And then after that, you want to come into your folder again. And you want to see this bar here. You want to click right click and hit copy address and paste it right there. So you want to just paste it to from the D where it says D to the and then you want to go back out this folder, so you're out of your CF, uh, CFX server data. And you want to copy this address and paste that there. And that should be good. So now you can try and start your server. It's not going to fully start, but it will give you this error. Don't worry about that error. Just let it install all the dependencies before you close it, so it won't install. Um, so just wait. This isn't necessary. You can fill out all the kits, license key and the steam key. So now that's done. Um, you want to OK or close. Um, and then you want to come in here and you want to hold control and click on this link. Or you can just copy this link and paste it into your file. And then you want to sign into your Steam. And it's going to give you a key. Just give me one second. Yeah, so it's gonna give you it's gonna give you a key. I've just gotta get my Steam uh, authentication. So it'll give you a key. Um, so it'll give you a key. Uh, you want to paste that Steam web key into the web key address slot, and then you want to go to the following. You want to go to this link here and paste that in there. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill all this information out because uh, I don't want to show it on screen. And make sure you don't give this to anyone, otherwise they can do some bad stuff. So once that's filled in, uh, you should be left with, obviously, mine's filled in. But you have this server host name. You can change that to whatever your names, whatever you want. So I can just call it tutorial. Um, and then you've got tags. So if you want to tag a roleplay, whatever, whatever type of server you're going to do, you can add tags. So, you know, whatever your server's called, tutorial, you could add a tag. And people could search up that tag keep that tag on and then everybody with that tag will be able to see it on the server list so that's that you set an archon password i don't have an archon password because i don't need one uh script hook script hooks for like steering wheels and stuff like that but you actually need to install a client side mod to actually use it so they can use external plugins um bear in mind that people still can use external plugins uh, such as mod menus, so you might want to buy an anti cheat, that's up to you. Uh, there's some good free anti cheats out there, I can name some like Badger anti cheat and stuff like that, but yeah. 
So here, I'm just going to change mine to US yen dash US. I don't live in the US, but you will just do that for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, save that. So now that's done. So now you should be able to start your server. It'll. Sorry. Uh, oh. It will start up. Sorry about that. Um, so now we're going to move to installing the plugins. So you want to. These will, these will all be in the description. You don't have to install these. You can go and find whatever plugins you like on the Five and Forums or if your friend sent you on or wherever you get them from. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to install the vehicles first because they're the easiest. These vehicles will be in the description. There's some really nice vehicles. Um, I think I actually have them linked. Uh, you can see here. Um... CHP. Uh, so we're going to be installing this pack. It's a beautiful CHP pack. Um, so we're going to. So once you download it, you'll get package file number one. You want to go into 5M ready and you just want to drag this folder into your resource. You know, your resources folder, which is in your server data. And then you want to create a subfolder. This is not necessary, but it's recommended um, for organization. And then there we go. Perfect. Now CHP is in that vehicles folder. So now I want to come to your CFG, and we'll create hashtag hashtag vehicles, and we're going to start CHP there. So you want to be starting whatever the name of the folder is, so the name of the folder is CHP, so I'm going to be starting CHP. Um, you can use Ensure, it's up to you. So now we're going to be installing this script. So we want to create a scripts folder. And drag this folder in there. And then we're just going to copy that name. And we're going to come here, do scripts, and start. So that's that script installed. So now we're going to be installing the pet. So we're going to create a new folder, call it. I like to call it EUP. We're not actually installing EUP, we're installing PEDs. Uh, so, uh, nope. So we're going to install this version. So we're going to create a new folder and call it chp pad. I'm going to create a new folder and call it stream inside this folder. Now we are going to copy that into there. I'm going to come back out, copy this into there. And then now we're going to create a new text document and call it underscore underscore resource.lua. We don't actually have to put anything in here because it's actually not doing anything. It's just it's just there to make it start because 5ms, uh, you know, 5M, 5M, uh, 5M development, you know. Um, there we go. We'll create a new hashtag called pets. We'll start pets. Okay. That's that. That's everything in this tutorial. So we're going to close that. Um, we're going to start the server. You'll see all your all your resources start here. CHP ped, CHP. All the cars start. It does say texture loss and all this, but don't worry about it. it you only really get texture loss if you can actually... Um, use some really high poly cars. So, yeah. So now, you're going to go into 5M, obviously. Oh. So we're going to 5M. And you want to enable this localhost menu. Right here. I just enable localhost menu. That'll be default. Don't, don't need to worry about the port. And let's change the port. I recommend don't messing with the port settings until you're advanced and then you want to hit localhost and it should connect you to your server so bear in mind other people cannot join your server without your IP address and that must be port forwarded in your router uh, so your routers um, allows ports for your for your for your internet so so now we're in um, 
we're going to want to install vmenu, sorry. So I'm going to teach you guys how to start scripts when the server stops. When the server's running. Uh, this is a big thing. I don't think it's mentioned not a lot in uh, in 5M. In 5M development, I don't think it's mentioned a lot. But it does need to be mentioned. So we're just going to do it out of here. Because if you want to execute permissions, you'll have to do that. Uh, so we're going to... Paste all the files from vmenu into the vmenu folder. Make sure it's called vmenu if you install in vmenu, otherwise it won't work. So you want to come to your console and do forward slash. Well, don't need to do forward slash. You're going to do refresh, and that will that will say found new resource, and then you want to start that resource. So just like start the resource like you are going to do if it was just in the CFG. Okay, now press M, you've got this v menu. you're probably familiar with email, v, uh, v menu. so uh, you see all the spawn codes in the vehicles folder, all the spawn codes, so 2015 explorer, 2015 explorer, oops sorry, I didn't spell that right, 2015 explorer, and it spawns, so that's that one, um, obviously we installed a script that allows your lights to turn on by pressing Q, so let's just to fix our lights here, there we go. So, the good thing about this pack is you press Q, you can press 1, and it does that. You can press 2, and it does that. You can press 3, and then it does the... It's basically just traffic advisors. And then, that's it. That's it. So, I uh, can't think of what else we installed. Well, we installed the ped. Sorry, I almost forgot there. So, we're going to go to others, press space, and search up sheriff ped. And it's you see the sheriff pad, click on the sheriff pad, and it works. So you can add your hats, and you've got a nice little, um, a nice little pad here that you can uh, drive around in and um, and play. Uh, if you are a big fan of EUP, which is in DOJ um, servers like New Coast DOJ, if you're looking for EUP, you will have to pay fifteen pound a month on the Five M official Patreon page. I'll leave that in the description. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on how to install EUP properly, I can do that tutorial. Um, and that has been me. Uh, make sure to join the Discord if you need support, uh, and I'll be helping you out through there. If if you want pre-made servers, go to the Discord, and we'll have this Discord download. We'll have this server for download. You can just download it, start it, change all the change all the files over, and start it. Um, we'll also have other pre-made servers on there, and uh, have and see you guys later.